Hello everyone! Okay, I am so excited for this video today because this is like some of my favorite content to watch from other people who make videos is just like their craziest or worst guest interaction stories and I think they're so funny. I love these videos so I'm excited to finally make this video for my own and just share with you guys my craziest interactions. Now, with that being said, I don't think I have the world's craziest interactions. Like, they definitely weren't insane, but they're just like those that just like get under your skin and you're like, ah, is this a joke? <laughs> like, where are the hidden cameras? This can't be real. Because I worked at the ice cream parlor, I think it's a little different than a lot of other guest stories because I feel like, like where people have a really high expectations of attractions and the attractions cast members, um, or like meeting characters and character attendance and photo pass, like <coughs> those are kind of like make or break your vacation type um, scenarios with people, like with guests who are coming, like they have high expectations of those things. Um, and then even like regular food service, I think it's like it's a necessity people have to eat in the park. So people have a really high expectation for people and I feel like it's just really stressful because the lines are too long and their kids need to eat and blah blah blah. It's not necessary to eat ice cream when you're in Disney World. So with that being said, I don't have the craziest guest stories but just like two of them that stick out in my head more than anything as like this isn't real and I was just so annoyed. <laughs> so my first guest story starts with a little background information. There's a certain rotation in the cone shop um, that's the same every time. And so for this specific rotation, I was at the register taking orders and then I moved back to filler. So I was at register first and these two young girls, I'd say not young girls, they're probably like 17, 18. They were in the line and they ordered two sundaes. One of them ordered a regular plaza sundae, which is our waffle bowl. They're like not hot waffle bowls. They're just like, we make them fresh, but throughout the day. So um, it's like a cold waffle. It's not cold. It's the room temperature waffle bowls. So they ordered the plaza sundae with the waffle bowl and the apple blossom sundae, which is a hot Sunday because it's literally sitting on a warm apple pie that's sitting in a warmer like on top that everyone can see it's a warmer and then you put a scoop of hot apples on top of it so it's a hot Sunday that's not mind-blowing information so I had taken these girls order when I was at register and then I got moved back to filler and they came one of the girls came back in and she was carrying both of her Sundays, and I was like, oh, okay, this is weird. Um, but people forget things all the time, like, oh, they forget napkins or spoons or whatever. And so I'm kind of like managing both the person at my filler station and then her who came back in. And I was like, oh, I'm so sorry. Like, did you forget something? Can I help you with anything? And she was like, um, no, I was just like, can I get a new Sunday? And I was like, oh, why was there something wrong? Like, did we get your flavors wrong? And she's holding up both of them and she's like, no, like all the flavors are right, but like this one's melted. <laughs> and I was like, oh, well, like it's a, it's a warm Sunday. So everything in this Sunday is warm except the ice cream. So it melts a lot faster. I was like, I'm sorry about that, but we don't really have any control over it. It's a warm Sunday. And she's like holding up the two Sundays in front of me and she's like, okay, I get it, but this one is not melted and this one is. So that doesn't make any sense because we got them at the same time. Like, I want another Sunday. <laughs> and I'm just standing there like, I don't understand what you mean. Like, one of them is a hot Sunday that's literally sitting on a hot apple pie covered in a sludge mound of hot apples. Like, of course it's going to be melty. And the other one is sitting in a lukewarm waffle bowl. So it's not gonna melt. I don't understand. And she was like, I'm honestly just like really annoyed. Like, please just give me a new Sunday. And I was like, I'm sorry, like I can't give you another Sunday. Nothing is wrong with that one. That is just how a hot apple pie Sunday works. And she was like, Are you kidding? This is this is ridiculous. We got these at the same time and this one is completely melted. We want another Sunday. 
And at that point, our leaders like always say, it's not your job as a cast member to scream at the other people and tell them that they're wrong. If they're not being cooperative, just grab a coordinator. I called out my coordinator who is like one of the best coordinators and has like no tolerance for anyone, which is why we loved her so much. Like went on for days. And so Megan was like, finally, she was just like, I just wanna get this girl out of here. So she literally just like went back and got like a cup and scooped another thing of ice cream and it was just like, <laughs> please take it. <laughs> like, please go. And so like, we didn't give her another Sunday, but literally Megan just gave her a scoop of ice cream to get out of there. It's like, who does that? It's literally a warm Sunday. Like, of course it's going to melt. Duh. So it's like things like that where you're just like looking at people like, this makes no sense. What are you doing? Are you joking? Like, are you being this silly? Or like, are you nuts? Like, I don't, <laughs> I don't get it. But that one is just kind of an example of like people being stupid and like wanting things that they don't really need. And I don't know where I didn't really feel like she was really taking advantage of me. I think she was just like literally confused on <laughs> why her ice cream was melted and expected something for me that I couldn't give her. And it's like, sorry, sis. You gotta get out of here. My second guest story, which was the only time that I was ever really like, probably snipped back at a guest. It wasn't probably, it was the only time that I ever did that with a guest, but I was probably pretty blatantly snippy with this woman. <laughs> this one happened, I guess it was, it was right at the end of May, no right at the end of March. So I knew that I was getting ready to leave my program. I was like, I'm not staying here. I'm sick of people acting like this. And so I think it just like got to the point where I was like, mm, okay, I can't handle this woman anymore. So again, it was the same type of rotation where I had been on the register for like an hour, a full rotation. And then I got moved back to filler. And I had been on filler for probably like maybe 15 minutes. So it wasn't a long time since I had had my full rotation at the register. And a little background information on this one. So the ice cream parlor is all um, ice cream, ice cream sundaes, ice cream cones, ice cream cups, waffle bowls, whatever. But we have Mickey's kitchen sinks, which are like these big plastic souvenir bowls that you can get a bunch of, bunch of scoops of ice cream in. And they're like, they're, almost 20 bucks. So they're pretty expensive. People love them. Like people go crazy for these things. Like there'll be people who come in and get like, you know, 10 Mickey sinks and it's like their souvenir for everyone. So they're just like highly sought after. This woman comes up to me while I'm on filler and I'll just brag on myself a little bit here. When I say I'm incredibly good with recognizing faces, um, especially of people that I've talked to or had an interaction with or something like that in like in my job since while I was working there. I mean, I would literally have like week long conversations with guests who would come in, who like came in on Monday and then would come in again on Wednesday. And I was like, I saw you guys the other day. Like, how are you? Have you been enjoying your trip? That kind of thing. Like I was just very good with recognizing people. And so this woman just came to the wrong girl because I knew I didn't see her. And so I had had a full hour at the register and then moved back for probably about 15 minutes. So I had been working that section for an hour and a half almost. And this woman comes up to me, it's right before fireworks. So it's really high tension. Everyone's stressed. Cause that's like a, we get a big rush before fireworks, during fireworks, we're dead. And then after fireworks, it's like everyone rushes back in again. So it's right before fireworks. Everyone's really stressed. And this woman comes in, in, this fluorescent pink and blue Lily Pulitzer dress. So I, I, she's just this type of person, not characterizing everyone who wears Lily Pulitzer, but there's just a certain type of woman who comes to Disney World in a Lily Pulitzer dress and heels. You know, like that's just the kind of vibe we're getting from this lady. And she walks up to me and she was being kind of nice at first, but still like kind of snippy. She's like, hi, um, I just came through here and you guys actually forgot to give me um, one of my kitchen sinks. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry because people pay a lot of money for those. So I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Like, do you have your receipt? And I'll go grab you if you show me the one you didn't get. And she was like, I don't have my receipt. 
oh, okay, does anyone in your party have your receipt that you go grab? And she was like, no, we don't have our receipt. We threw it away. And at this point, she's being like very brash with me. And I was like, oh, well, if you, if you don't have your receipt, I can't give you an entire kitchen sink for free. I'm really sorry. Like, we'll have to have your receipt in order for you to get another sink. She's like, are you kidding me? I was in here like 30 minutes ago. I saw you. Like, you were handing out ice cream to people. And I was like, well, if you came in 30 minutes ago, that can't be possible because 30 minutes ago, I was taking orders at the register. And she was like, no, like, that's what I mean. Like, you, you took my order at the register. And at this point, I'm like, girl, you are lying. You just want a free kitchen sink. Because, I mean, she was in this fluorescent Lily Pulitzer dress. So I know I would have recognized her. I was like, ma'am, I can promise you I did not take your order at the register and I did not forget to give you a kitchen sink. I'm really sorry, but there's nothing we can do for you if you don't have a receipt that tells us that. Does your family have your other sink that they can bring in and show you that you purchased a sink? And she was like, no, they're on a ride right now. And I was like, okay, with a kitchen sink? I'm confused. So at this point, I knew this lady is just trying to get free stuff out of me and I'm like, nope. I'm not having it, like not giving into this. No, 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 <laughs> it's like, I'm not doing it. And so, I mean, we go back and forth for a while. I'm like, you know what? This is not my job to scream at people. So I call in um, one of our leaders who at the time was actually doing a professional internship. So he was 18 years old, um, but was working 18 or 19. So he was younger than me, but he was on a professional internship and working as a leader in our location. But he was really new to our location. He was great, but just new to us and still like, he hadn't been there for like 10 years, so he didn't like have a limit with people, but he was very nice to this woman. And so I pull him in, so I'm like, listen, this lady is trying to get a free sink out of us. I promise you she did not come through my line. She did not order sinks. And like, there's really nothing, nothing I can tell you, but she didn't, she didn't get it. And he was like, okay, like, let me come over here and talk to her. <clears throat> and so they're talking and she's like, this girl is being so disrespectful. Like she's not giving me my sink. She never gave it to me in the first place. Then, 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 And I was like, what? I was like, oh, actually, you know what? I was like, if you said we have it and you don't have your receipt, let's scroll back through our order window and we'll look for your receipt order. Cause at this point, I'm just trying to prove this little girl wrong. I'm like, you are wrong. So when you order um, at the register, on filler and on the scoops in the back, there's monitors that the order pops up on after you ring it in. So, so that's how we know like what ice cream to scoop in the back and put which scoops in which order. And then on filler, we know like, okay, that's where you put like no whipped cream or no hot fudge, sub caramel, whatever. So there's just like a whole a whole system where it's like literally from the register all the orders pop up on the screens and you can go back and look at all the orders from 15 years ago i don't know how long they stay there but you can click back 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 through all the orders to find a receipt and so i was like come on over lady let's find your receipt and so i mean i'm literally clicking back through orders for days she said she only ordered two kitchen sinks so I'm like clicking through, I was like looking at my leader. I'm like, it's not here. She did not order this. She did not come through my line. And she's like, this is ridiculous. Like it must have got deleted off of the system. Like this is so stupid. You are being ridiculous. Like I cannot believe that you guys are not giving me my sink that like I paid for. Da -da -da -da. And I had just like lost it with this woman. I was like, I'm leaving. I'm not, you can handle her Mr. Leader because I'm not dealing with her. And it made me so mad because he ended up giving her a kitchen sink. And I was like, uh, no, she doesn't get one. Ugh. <laughs> but he ended up giving her one anyway, and I was high key annoyed about it, but it's fine. It's fine. <laughs> Clearly, I'm still a little salty about it. Um, so yeah, those are like really the only two like memorable bad experiences that I had as a cast member where I was like, either just like people are literally so dumb and they cannot <laughs> understand why a hot ice cream sundae is melting or where i was like literally so annoyed that i wanted to quit my job on the spot so that i could scream at this lady <laughs> and not get fired by disney oh because people just 
They're just deceitful because they want free things. And it is so annoying. And then he ended up giving her a Sunday anyway. Oh, I was so mad. That was like, I was seething at that point. <laughs> but yeah, for the most part, I really didn't have too many like terrible guest interactions. But those were just two of the ones where I was like the most frustrated I've ever been. The majority of the time, it's way more wonderful and pleasant and enjoyable, but you're always gonna have those people. And I honestly think they're really funny <laughs> because it's just like, yeah, I lived through that. I really did. Like, bravo to me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you have, so if you're a past um, Disney employee or an employee of anywhere and you have a really awful guest story, please let me know because they just like honestly make me laugh so much. As long as they're not horrible, like traumatizing guest experiences, um, but just like the funny ones of people being stupid, like really just make me laugh so much. That's all you can do is laugh because you experience it so much when you're working there that it's like if you don't laugh and make jokes about it, like you will cry and you will quit your job. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let me know if you have any funny guest stories from your college program or if you're still working at Disney and I don't know, just let me know because I think they're hilarious. Also, look at these earrings. So I just got them. They're from Forever 21 and I'm literally obsessed with them. Like they give me all the Cusco Emperor's New Group vibes. Like this literally looks like what Cusco wears on his head except upside down. So like, <laughs> like literally it's Cusco. <laughs> All right, so that's it for me today. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you all again next week. Bye!